I still have a hard time putting it in words what happened exactly. Regret. <laughs> a lot of regret. I lost my brother to alcohol. My grandparents and my mother passed. I lost custody of my son due to my drinking. I was completely lost. Um, and I just kept drinking on top of that feeling which pushed me farther away. I couldn't look forward. I was stuck looking backward. I couldn't forgive myself for a lot of things. And it was probably the darkest place I've ever been with the drinking. I just thought it was over. And this is it. This is this is what it's going to be like. This is what was supposed to happen. One morning, came into Church of the King, still pretty messed up from the night before. I remember walking in the door. I ran into uh, Harry, um, who was in production. And he was drinking coffee. Um, and I asked uh, him where the coffee was at. He knew instantly something was wrong with me. I realized that, that he was uh, looking for something. We swapped numbers and uh, prayed with him afterwards. And that's what started our friendship. I ended up driving Jacob to the rehab facility in Northern Alabama, uh, where he stayed for three months. He, he got saved. He got water baptized. Well, I, I, I truly started forgiving myself. I was able to start looking forward, which opened up a whole new world for me. And I was redeemed. Not having my son was 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 tearing me up. I didn't see him for like almost a year. After a year of sobriety, um, uh, the court awarded me uh, full custody, and we just had our first Christmas together in, in years. God has blessed me in more ways than I can ever imagine. One of the hardest things for me to do, which ended up saving me, was, was putting God first. You know, the small groups have been a big part of my recovery. I'm really grateful for God um, and where he put me that Sunday morning and the friendship that he's given me through Harry and the relationships that have formed from these small groups changed my life. It's given me hope.